Hello, I was browsing the V&H collection when I came across a suspender bed dated 1891. It was just what I needed. I started by making a yoke pattern, of course deep down I knew it wouldn't really work. I had some linen cotton blend fabric. I drew the pattern around on the fabric. I added 2 cm for overlap. I will never understand yokes, I think the pattern already includes the overlap. I added a seam allowance. After cutting out this piece, I used it as a pattern to cut another one, carefully matching the stripes. Now that I had two of them, I mesh the stripes again, then cut two more pieces. If you have yarn dyed fabric where you can't tell the difference between the right and wrong sides, you have a much easier job. I had a little difficulty because the weave of the fabric was uneven, messing up the stripes a bit. Also, there was a slight difference of color between the two sides. I backstitched the back seams. I placed the two yoke pieces on each other, right sides together. I backstitched along the two short edges and the top edge. I trimmed the allowance of the back seam to reduce barking. I clipped the corners and the allowance. I took a piece of fabric and matched the stripes with the stripes of the side of the yoke. I lengthened the side mark on the piece of fabric. I marked the width of the elastic band on the fabric. I drew the flap, I don't know what it's actually called, so correct me. I made it 8 cm wide at the top. I added a seam allowance. I cut four of them. I sewed the sides. I turned the short end to the wrong side. Then I turned the flap to the right side. On the yoke, I marked where I would attach the flaps. I sewed the bottom edge of the yoke, leaving two holes for the flaps. I notched the allowance. I turned the yoke to the right side through one of the holes. I pressed the seams. I attached the flaps.
I topped it from the outer side of the yoke, however, although I could catch the bottom layer too, it wasn't securely stitched, so I top stitched the edge from that side too. I attached one end of the elastic band. I added the adjuster and clip. I secured the end of the band. I would have needed Y-shaped suspenders, but I couldn't find any antique or vintage ones that I liked or could afford. My mum had these from decades ago, as well as the elastic band. I hate elastics and I don't buy anything new except for fabric, so I can't always find what I need. I had worn my stockings suspended by one clip before starting this project to test whether it could work. I had satisfactory results. I made two buttonholes and sewed on mother of pearl buttons. I committed the grave mistake of not properly measuring the bed to myself while I had the chance to easily adjust it. Do not use a yoke pattern that is drafted as a circle only based on your waist measurement. Take both your waist and hip measurements. That's what I will try next time. I will do research on garter beds so that I can make something that better serves my needs. But it looks pretty, so I quite like it. I'm not sure it won't move around my waist though. I accidentally made it lose its size and not mine. It is poking out on my stomach. You should top stitch along the edges from the right side too. However, I didn't want to waste my time and energy because I knew I would have to perfect the design first.